welcome back to Genshin Impact with me, Girl No Fuses. So we're gonna go right into it and go and conquer these uh, other temples, wherever the hell they're at, which requires a lot of rent. I wonder if I'm gonna get a horse or ride a dragon or something of that sort later on to maybe like go faster. If you guys enjoyed this video and this series, then please don't hesitate to uh, give it a big fat like and subscribe to the channel for more. I'm trying to avoid them because they're just like they're such so small fries, but they're so annoying. Oh shit! There he is. Disappear! I did not mean to do that. I really didn't. Oh my god. You've arrived. You've Come arrived. Closer. Come. Can you smell that? Can okay, so you can talk. Something must have happened in the temple. I imagine there will be slimes, hilly churls, and whatever is giving Storm Terror extra power. Oh, yes. It is going to be lively in there indeed. Oh, oh, you're quite the brave one, aren't you? I mean, yeah. It's a pity that the Temple of the Wolf has been disturbed by such an atrocity. Let's head in. No one makes offerings to the Four Winds anymore, yet the old winds never vanish. We need to clear out the temples for the Four Winds. Okay, that's another truck, because I was just like, I am nowhere near party 25. Special? No. Let me show you how the Knights of Favonius conquer our adversaries. Okay. He wants to show off. Go ahead, show off. Oh, wait, I'm playing as you know. Whoa! Let me stop. Oh, door expression activated. What can you do? Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, the end of the temple should be up there. Wait, how do you know? <laughs> Experience. The kind of experience you get after years of dealing with things like this for others. And didn't I say before when I first met him, like, if he had a familiar, it would be a wolf, and he's at the temple of the wolf right now? See, I called it. I can tell. See, I know it. I know my characters. I know, I know plots when I see it. I can read characters. Are you my ice dude? Can you do ice? Yes, you can do ice. If there is water around, opponents may become wet. Rune skills to freeze water. Opponents utilize this element to react to the adventures of the opponents. Ah, you are ice. Oh my god. Yeah, dodge this! Yeah, I know. Cool it. Travel. So he has to get up close to personal. You don't seem to have a vision. So how exactly is it that you're able to channel elemental energy? It was a very strange phenomenon. Phenomen uh, something strange happened. Can 
I use you for now on? Oh, no, it says for trial. Man, that sucks. So I'm not gonna equip you with any of my special stuff. You don't need it. A flamethrower's core is what gives his energy to shoot fire. Use Kairos skills to temporarily disable flamethrower's cores and stop him from shooting fire. I mean, again, I already figured this out. I. Cool it. It's just, it's just kind of like, yo, I played so many games that of course I would figure this out. <laughs> It's like, game, you're speaking to someone who's played games for years! Dodge this. But I, I complain about it, but watch oh, as I need it later on in the game. Here. Seems the path ends here. Let's use the wind currents to fly up. I think those were like checkpoints too. Uh, uh, also, like revival points, I know. Come here. The blue stone is the center of the room in a hydro amber. Breaking it will make will make it rain, making everything in the rain to wet. God damn it! Hit this. Good idea. That's some keen observation. We should get Jean to give you a title and make you a knight. When Pyro meets Hydro, Vaporize occurs. The effect of Pyro and Hydro will dissipate when Vaporize. And why has he gotta be such a smartass? She doesn't know much about the world. What, what was that? Oh, this isn't the crystal I need to break. Okay. Underwater spikes make the area too dangerous to swim through. Cairo skill to freeze the surface water creates a safe passion. I know. I understand. <gasps> no! I'm such a dumbass! Why? Why did I press? Oh my god. I don't know why I pressed that button. Guys, I don't know why I pressed that Freeze. button. I pressed that on freaking accident. And he like dashed Speaking off. Of, did you know? Storm Terror was once one of the four winds. I'm not aware of the exact yes, you know. details. If you're interested, you can ask the acting grandmaster about it. Freeze. Oh, it doesn't heal me. Okay. Is that the thing that Storm Terror is using to gain its power? Seems probable. Let's deal with it. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Bravo. What a performance. I don't feel the love <laughs> through his toad. It just feels so condescending. You are, to my surprise, a well-trained knight. The battles you just fought were sights to behold. <laughs> I see you already have the knightly virtue of modesty. Stories of your heroic deeds to save Mondstadt from destruction shall be known throughout the City of Freedom well into the future. Please do visit me at our headquarters when you have the time. 
He's being more friendly, but I still feel like he's going to press for more info later. I'm just waiting for it. I'm definitely waiting for this conversation to happen. I also know a lovely tavern, if that's more your thing. Quite rewarding, no? We've seized another temple from Storm Terror's grasp. I can take care of the rest here. You go take care of other things while I'm at it. See you later then, bye-bye! There's no way Hilly Churls organized an ambush like this themselves. Not with their limited mental capacity. Uh, who is that? <laughs> Thus you were behind this. Whoa, who is this? He's not even surprised either. He's like, whatever. Knights of Aphonius, always so inefficient. Agree to disagree, but your involvement in this just made things a whole lot more interesting. Okay, so what's going on? Nice. I thought it was just gonna be for the truck. <gasps> Maybe I can freeze these flowers. Cool it. No. Oh, hold on. Let me try again. Well, it did it for that one. Why didn't? Oh, it did. Yeah, I knew it. So you gotta like cool them down for you, for you can take them. Is that the other marker way over there? Ah, uh, journey. It's a statue of the seven. Let's make an offering and see if the gods respond. Stem has been increased. Thank you. I need that. What's happening? What was that? It was just a random hole and just wind blew Can out of it. Feel the blessings of the seven? In Mondstadt, people call them animaculae. They can be fitted into the statue's eyes. Some stories say the statue's eyes originally had gems that were taken by swallows, but animaculi never had a physical form from the start. People with visions collect them to offer to the statues as blessings. Unlike others with powers, you don't have a vision. But then the rules of this world don't apply to you anyway, so keep offering animaculi Six. and maybe you'll receive more blessings. Oh, so that's what that does. Uh, I'm stupid. I'm using a pyro skill and it's not working. Fuck it. Anything else special? Well, I saw this, so it might be special. Oh, 
Ooh, a treasure, so we should do. This is why we explore. I see a spirit over there too. Does not not unlock it. Um, oh, do I have to do them all? There's the other one. Anymore? Oh, it's a lot now. Yes. Oh, yes. Give me all that. Jean will be all upset right. if she catches us lazing yes. around like this. Shut it. I'll do what I want. I'm over here doing all the goddamn work. She can wait. Ah, there it is. I saw a boar over here. It's Lisa. Hey, cutie. You're going to help me out, too? How kind of you. If you didn't expect help, why are you still outside? Don't hesitate to come to me if you need anything. Hmm. Good question. Well, because Jean trusts me. So you should as well. Let's get all this mint, all this minty white. So you're not gonna talk this time. Okay. Even staying out here, the disturbance of the elemental flow inside is making me uncomfortable. Let's get this temple back in its normal state so it can be a little less tense. Yeah, everyone's way over level five, so they'll be just fine. I wonder if we're gonna run into Mr. Redhead here, too. Well, we didn't get to run into him, but freaking the other guy did. I guess I could give this a go. You're coming with us? What do you do? L1 Triangle. But, 
What does she do? Hold on. Come a little closer. Ah, she does elect. She loves like dark electricity. I knew it. There is a strong elemental energy coming from deep within this temple. Paimon, are you able to float across? Can't do much even if she does. Let's ride this wind current, shall we? It's a good thing I switched characters, because I was just like, nah, there's got to be a way to break this. How about I say, you got to have wings. Everybody has wings here. Ah, okay, you gotta hold it. You can't just press circle for no reason. Open it, there you go. I'm gonna need my good old boy for this one. Leave it to me. It's an electro monument. You're in wonder. Let me try to activate it with a bit of electro power. Stand back, sweetie. I've already figured this out, game. Wait, oh my lord. Freeze! Where's the other one? Standing on water could electrify them. I could electrify them, but I went the hard route. I went the hard route here. My bad. When it comes to wet enemies, I've got them covered. Yeah, yeah. I just now figured out the floor was wet. I didn't see it from afar like that. current. Let's ride it up from here. So many chests. This game is so generous. Come a little closer. What the? What is going on? 
going on here? Closer. You know what? I'm getting my other one. Dodge this. She's taking way too long here. between electrocharged opponents. Freeze. The electrical discharge caused by friction is only a little less shocking than love at first sight. Yeah, which would be great if it would work the way I thought it was going to work. I know you're shooting at the freaking water and you're not doing what it's supposed to do. Oh. So yeah, you want to know about my this gem? character. You're kidding. You're seriously asking? This is a vision. It's used by the chosen to draw on elemental powers. In terms of mysticism, I suppose you could call it a magical lightning rod. Oh, no, 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 no. Huh? What? You've never seen a vision? Just where exactly are you from? Are you a hilly churl with some level of reasonable intelligence? No, I doubt it. After all, hilly churls aren't exactly known for their smarts. And you, you'd more or less qualify to be a Magister's Apprentice. At last, the final gym. Break it, and we can head home and relax. <sighs> the thought of putting my feet up and relaxing has me all fired up. Dragon of the East, Lion of the South, Wolf of the North, Falcon of the West. They are the four winds of Mondstadt, affiliated with Barbados, the god of Animo. The Dragon of the East, Storm Terror, its real name is Devalin. Though most in Mondstadt seem to have forgotten that in all this Storm Terror business. So now you know why Devalin is only able to channel three of the four winds' power. Oh, because one of the temples is his, the other ones are just all his pals, and he's drawing power from the other three. To go to number four, it would be like going up and into his house, and he's just like, nah, we just need to take down the three. Because it has been consuming itself from the beginning. Because of hatred, I presume. Hatred? Hatred for Mondstadt. Hatred drove it to become something more powerful than the wind itself, to become Storm Terror. But why would one of the four winds... ...hate the city it was supposed to protect? Uh... She's like, you got me. As a child of Mondstadt, it's something that's really hard to say aloud. Here, take this. It's a very old story from more than a century ago. Oh, it's finally 
done. Well, all that lay flow and elemental line stuff Lisa was going on about should hopefully be back to normal. Wanna go back and see how the knights are doing? But if you got anything more interesting to do, Paimon can come too. I think you would come with us regardless. But thank By you. By the way, we obtained another animunculus in one of the Four Winds temples, right? We might come across more of them in the future, so don't forget to offer them to the statues. Act 1 complete. Prologue out to for tomorrow lessons available at rank 10. You can improve your adventure by offering a to the statues, seven unlocking waypoints, seeking out chests in the open world, completing quests, and clear. Oh, uh, so to get the more story, I need to go and offer to more statues. You can improve your adventure by offering goods to the statues, unlocking waypoints, seeking out chests, and open world, completing quests, clearing. Yeah. So I need. Ooh. So I need rank 10, is what it's saying. But I want to read the story. I want to know what y'all did to piss off this damn dragon. Because he said, why would it attack a city that it was literally assigned to protect? Like, why would it do that? And they're just like, well, we kind of did something a little fucked up. And it's hard to say, but... We did do this, and that's why it hates us so much. Okay, I think this might be it. So let's, so let's read it. <laughs> An excerpt from the investigation into the cultural customs of the Wing Kingdom, more commonly known as the Records of Customs and Culture by Jacob Musk. The Wolf of the Night of Barrows, the line of the line to night, the Falcon of the Knights of Favos and the Wind Dragon Dove have been long regarded as the four winds that watch over Mondstadt. After the Lion Tooth Knight liberated Mondstadt, the Knights of Ferens was established and the Knights of Boris joined them. Tradition of worshipping the four winds was gradually formed in Mondstadt. However, David the Ancient Wind Dragon predated them all. Predated? Approximately 100 years ago, the land was in chaos. Or are you saying like he became he he came in before everybody? That's probably what it means. Um, approximately one hundred years ago, the land was in chaos. Darkness spread, contaminating everything it touched. Barbarians and foul creatures roamed the lands, for forcing people to dwell to dwell within the city walls. It was especially difficult time for Mostad. The long toothed knight was without a suitable heir, and the knights of Ferns had lost many of its brave men and women during the bitter wars. During the most difficult times, Durham, the corrupted dragon of immeasurable power began attacking Mondstadt. The prayers of Mondstadt's people awoke the Amon Arkin, and his will summoned forth the wind dragon Davlin. As the last defender of Mondstadt, Davlin battled Durin with all his might. The result was clear. Durin's remains still lie atop the snowy peaks to the south of Mondstadt, but the story of how the battle ended was lost in time. It is said that Davlin ripped out Durin's throat, and together they fell from the sky. Durin's body sunk into the snow while Davlin was summoned by the Unclean and fell into slumber. People used to believe that Davlin would awaken whenever Mondstadt faces a new threat, but in these times of peace, the belief of the four winds has gradually eroded and their temples lie all but completely deserted. By the time the knights finally discovered that the four Masharshi named Stormturn, with which they had clashed countless times, was in fact Davlin of the Four Winds, the immunity had grown between them and driven them to conflict could not be undone. One can scarcely imagine that the betrayal Davlin must have felt when he awoke after a hundred years of slumber only to find that the people of Mazda, whom he had protected with his life, had forsaken him. Ew. Okay, I think I understand what happened here. So, shit went down a hundred years ago, he was summoned, he beat the other dragon, and then the god put him to sleep. But as he was sleeping, all the people pretty much forgot about his ass. Forgot him and the other four ones. The four ones weren't salty about it, but he was because I guess he was doing all, like, he was lifting most of the weight. He was, he was doing pretty much everything. So... When he woke up and found that no one was worshipping anymore, no one was like, you know, talking about him or, 
you know, coming to his temple and giving him, like, giving him stuff, he just kind of like, what the fuck? Like, y'all wouldn't even be around if it wasn't for me. Like, the least you could do is give me offerings at my fucking temple once in a while. And so he just kind of said, you know what? He pretty much gave him the finger and just started, like, you know, attacking them. And they didn't know that they were attacking one of one of the four winds until recently. So now they're dead. now they hate him even more because they're like, "Hey, you're supposed to protect us. What the hell?" And he's like, "Well, what the hell? Like you you guys just leave me in a dusty ass temple with no offerings, no nothing. No one comes to visit me. Okay, um, if you want protection, give me what I need for you guys to get protection." Okay, like th this ain't free. <laughs> this ain't a free service. <laughs> I need payment just like everybody, every other service and you guys want free help. That's not how this shit runs. That's pretty much what's happening here. People didn't pay the goddamn God bill and now they're salty that the dragon's coming at them. Because the other ones aren't because I guess through the nights they still remember the other three wins, but the dragon didn't get none of that. He, he literally got none of that, and he, he's super salty. Okay, so I understand what's happening. Okay, that's why. But I still want to know why the boy was talking to him. Who was that guy, and why is he special? Out again. Let's go and see what she wants. Wh what lady? You put it to the ground! Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. Actually, I have had- You've had your eye on him, eh? Has she been causing some mischief? Oh, that is not what I meant at all. Being on the lookout for great adventurers is part of my job. When I look at you, I see one with the potential to rival the great adventurers of legends. Paimon sees it too! Paimon always feels safe adventuring with him. Nevertheless, to the adventurer, experience is far more precious than potential. You must accumulate adventurer experience to increase your adventure rank. Time is of the essence. Allow me to brief you on... Wait, are you saying we're like official adventurers now? I guess if you think, but we've been unofficial the Do entire time. Worry. The Adventurous Guild does not charge a membership fee or impose any kind of duties on its members. In short, there are lots of benefits, but no drawbacks to becoming a member. Oh, all right then. Basically, the Adventurous Guild rewards you every time your adventure rank increases. Here is a new member's gift for you. You will need to return here to claim rewards in the future. Why didn't we have this conversation when I first came by? Because you didn't say all this the first time I came around. Without further ado, please allow me to officially welcome you, our new avid adventurer, into the guild. Here is your adventurer handbook. A new member coming aboard is a momentous occasion. A little ceremony is only fair. It has a record of available commissions and rewards. And it is also proof of your membership. Oh, and one more thing. Sometimes you will find yourself stuck at a certain adventure rank. Like right now? When this happens, you need to perform some impressive feats to gain further recognition from the guild. Impressive feats? Sounds like hazing to me. <laughs> Paimon's like, this sounds like hazing. They are simply specific adventures that allow you to ascend to the next adventure rank on completion. Ascension adventures, if you will. But that will come later. Opportunities to win recognition will come as you gain more adventure experience. That will do for today. We will have plenty of chances to meet again in the future. Add Astra Abyssosk, adventurer. With effort, you shall reach the stars and conquer the abyss. What abyss? We haven't seen the abyss yet.
Oh, this must be the sister. Gosh, am I blushing? I was daydreaming about Dula gave me flowers. Was it obvious? Don't look at me like that. There's nothing special about me. <gasps> Did I just say? I'm sorry. I've been daydreaming about Dula here, so I... No, I didn't. What did I do? I love doing so much. Oh my god. She's looking at me like, you weirdo. How dare you read my thoughts. Haven't you heard? There's a strange wanderer near Wolfenthal. <laughs> oh, dang. Okay. Oh, this must be the handbook. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I love that. Thank you. Yeah, I'll take all that. Thank you. Wait, there's more? Oh, okay. There we go. Yes, we have all that. Yep, just keep giving me stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. I'm two chests away from unlocking that hunt down. I mean, if it would appear before me in that last temple, then yeah, I probably would have defeated it. Okay, I get it. You want us to go over there. Soft white toast, topped with a generous serving of onion slices, lightly caramelized by the toasting. Yum, yum. That does not sound good at all. But we'll give Paimon, it a shot. Up her mind. It's an emergency. We must order ourselves a generous serving of fisherman's toast from Good Hunter pronto. It's on you, of course. Wow, you can make me order food and not pay for it. Okay, Paimon, I see how it is. You're that type of friend. Let's get the fisherman's toes so she shuts up. Increases all party members' defense by 107 for 300 seconds in co-op mode. This fit only applies to your own character. Onion covered toast, a favorite among fishermen. They will stuff a bag with it and sit by the river all day. That looks like literally bread, sauce, and onions. That's literally that's all it looks like it is. And a leaf in the middle. <laughs> it's so delicious! Hum, hum, hum. Whatever floats your boat, I wouldn't eat it. Fisherman's toast is the best. This might surprise you, but it's actually a classic Mondstadt recipe that anyone can cook. You can try cooking it yourself if you have the ingredients. Can your cooking skills surpass that of good hunters? Why, Paima would love to be your personal taster. I bet you would. Don't you let me down. I'll put some extra ingredients in there too. Since you want to eat up all my food. Brilliant flower buds that sprout from- Oh, you're not going to let me read it. Why are you sitting at a fountain, my guy? Lee line opens our journey in response to someone's will. Touch the opening, defeat all opponents to reveal a ley line blossom. You may spend original resin to receive extra prizes or treasures. Not bad for today. What are you doing? You frightened me. What are you doing? Exactly. Uh, I'm not doing anything. Oh well, you've caught me already, haven't you? I'm. It's just an ordinary water fountain, but somehow people treat it like it's a wishing well. 
throwing the money away for nothing, but I could use that money. I'm in a destiny for money. Please don't tell anyone. Why do you need money? Cousin Anna, my sister, you may have met her during the day. She's suffering from rare disease, so she often comes here to make wishes. Why does she have to be? Why does it have to be her? She's such a kind and gentle kid. Why must it be her and not me? These coins don't make up for the mission she needs, but I also work hard at my job, of course. If the Archons are watching, I'm sure they'll forgive my actions. Ah, so he's doing what he needs to do to pay for medicine. All right, I ain't mad at you. I thought you were being, you know, super weird, but you're just you're just trying to scrounge up money. This is bad. Such a hassle. <sighs> what am I going to do? That kind of sounded like he was thinking and not saying it out loud. Oh, thank the thousand winds. Your arrival must be the grace of the gods. If I may ask, envoy sent by the Animo God to save this mere mortal, could you spare a moment? Nah, he... he that he's kissing ass nah nah well, what are you up to you never speak to me like this never now all of a sudden you're like literally kissing my feet no 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 ew cut it out yeah even panama can say she's like uh 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 she's like stop what you're doing i cannot let my peers hear about this i cannot seek help from anyone else but you please let us move to somewhere more fit for such conversations. Let's talk in the courtyard, just outside headquarters. Come with me. What's with the sneakiness? He just runs off, doesn't answer. Ooh, act one secret pirate treasure. Okay, we got his. Oh, I can't go. All right, guys, well, we've got, okay, we went through a lot. Like, we found some waypoints, we ventured around, we got the other two temples conquered, we found out why the dragon was so pissed off, um, and Kira wants to literally go on a pirate adventure from the sounds of things. Uh, I'm, I'm suspicious because of what happened after we left the the wolf temple so i'm suspicious of him of what he's actually doing right now but we'll leave that for the next episode and see what's going on and i hope you guys enjoy this video in this game because i'm truly enjoying this game immensely so i'll see you guys next time bye